So this time, again, messy environment. I'm not staging anything fancy for YouTube. You can see that I have a snail, which in this case, probably really appropriate just because, uh, you know, everyone says the Nikon autofocus is slow and doesn't work. And my audio is going to get wonky here because I'm going to be running in and out of my doorway with an HDMI cable connected to my MacBook Pro and a microphone on a boom. So I apologize up front if it sounds kind of uh, lousy. But here we go. It's going to be a matter of same lens, 24 to 85, F355G uh, with an FTZ adapter, my trusty Nikon Z62 firmware 1.30, and uh, I'm going to be doing that focus tracking. You can see right now I'm not in focus. In fact, again, I will switch off the focus tracking and just use auto area. There it is. It found my subject matter. And if I, you know, again, real time, what it's finding seems to be doing its thing, switching on focus tracking, and here we go, and we'll see how well it does. And again, I'm being, you know, the idiot here, jerking the camera around, looking stupid, I'm running in and out of my doorway, and, uh, you know, this is about a 10-foot HDMI cable, maybe 15 feet, so I'm just uh, acting like a moron, and if people saw me they'd go what on earth are you doing but is the box sticking I think it is I'm getting a little tired there shut that off for a second I'll do it one more time so there it is focus tracking is on and here we go yeah I think it's I think it sticks what do you guys think here we go I lost it because I'm pretty erratic but I think all things considered, if I zigzag back and forth and run in and out, it seems to do its job not bad, you know? And this is not a Z lens. So there you go, folks. Focus tracking off, auto area. There's the focus tracking box test number two. I gotta do a couple more. Hope you like them. Hope it gives you some reality. And again, I'm no pro tester. I'm just doing this for the sake of it because I'm just sick of all the, the noise on YouTube. There you go.